Barrier two, lack of public understanding. We've had mention of this from, from all the previous speakers. I'll focus on the vegans. Um, I can understand the vegan protest vote. I think a lot of young people in particular are horrified a bit about industrial livestock production. But unfortunately, once again, their failure to understand the central role of ruminant animals, particularly beef and sheep, in, in maintaining the carbon se sequestration during the fertility building phase of the crop rotations that I've described we need, uh, means that the market for red meat uh, and, and its depressed state is going to be a barrier for wider scale return to mixed farming. So we have to tackle this and I think we have to tackle, uh, tackle this issue by discussing things with vegans. I think we need to convert vegans back to an understanding that it's good to eat red meat from sustainable farming systems, mainly grass-fed of course, and I believe that vegan, vegan, these young people who are vegans are intelligent people and they can respond to this. I don't want to describe myself as an organic farmer. I'm a farmer. I'm a farmer who has chosen to use organic methods because I think it's the right thing to do. But I'm not separate from the rest of the farming community and I think that I've played my part unwittingly in polarising the farming community between those that are organic and those that aren't. And I think that's been a real barrier